for us at Bulge Monster here with a little unboxing and review and some proof for Loot Crate, God forbid anything's missing from this box, um, because of a poor tape job, in my opinion, um, where they didn't tape the tops here. Um, the hat that's actually in this box that I'm aware of, unfortunately, uh, is because it was sticking out of this, the side of the box. Like I said, the hat was sticking out of the side of the box here. I don't know if someone tried to steal it at the post office and it just wouldn't fit through the side. I don't know if it just got bumped around enough and it just actually looked like the item was, you know, being pulled out. But I'm worried that the pin may have fallen out or just in general that anything's gone. Um, I will show you guys that it is still in fact sealed. You can see the thing here. I'm pulling on it. It won't open. I'm going to have to cut it. You'll see me cut it in a second. Um, and then we'll go over it and hopefully there's nothing missing. But uh, this month's theme, I honestly have no idea what it is. I knew earlier today I was trying to look it up, but I'll let you know in a second. So let's cut this bitch open and let's see what the deal is. So, all right. First, we have a tracer pop figure from Overwatch. That's pretty dope. Um, I'm not sure what's exclusive. I guess the sunglasses, because the standard ones look like they're orange sunglasses. And she, actually, the whole thing is exclusive. She's wearing a, a black and green suit and uh, some uh, green glasses. So that's pretty dope. I'm not really big into Overwatch. haven't played it. I'll have to check it out. But uh, this pop is dope, man. I love it. It's been a little while since we've got a nice exclusive pop from Funko uh, in the Loot Crate. So it's pretty dope. I'm definitely a fan of this. This is worth at least $10. bucks. Um, i am assuming since Overwatch is huge, this is going to be worth a little bit more. But I'm definitely going to hold on to this and not sell it. This is going to go on the shelf. So uh, moving forward, we have the hat. The hat is from uh, Team Fortress, from what I understand. Yep, it says Team Fortress 2. It's a black and tan or beige-ish hat, if you will. Um, it, uh, black, I don't know if I said black. It's a blue and tan or beige-ish hat, if you will. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool. Not into Team Fortress. Um, you know, so this is, this is just a collectible. I'll bag this up and save this. I collect hats, I collect shirts, all types of shit like that. So this is cool. Um, but like I said, not into the whole Team Fortress franchise for what it's worth. But here we go. We'll leave that right there. Um, next, we have a shirt. The shirt I actually know is from Street Fighter. I watched an unboxing earlier. This is pretty dope. It actually says uh, Fight right here. If you guys can see, it's got a bunch of characters on it or whatnot, and it says Fight. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the back, so I'm not going to show you the back. At least, I don't think it says anything on the back. No, it doesn't when I can see, and I'd rather not unfold it because I'm terrible at folding things. Um, but that's pretty dope. So, Street Fighter shirt. I'll bag this up and collect this, save this with the rest of my shirts. I leave that on my lap so I don't get it dirty. Next, we have a mouse pad with a ton of characters on it um, from Rob Bobbin. I guess that's the artist, maybe? I don't really know what franchise this is from. We'll have to look through the book. But it's a mouse pad with a bunch of different characters on it. It's pretty cool, pretty dope. This is like the third or fourth mouse pad that uh, Loot Crate has done in various different crates. I think I have about three or four of them. So that's pretty cool. Mouse pads are always dope. Um, next, we have a poster of some sort, some kind of thick... Um, cardboard poster there may be more than one item in there uh but it's uh end of the line i guess it's a movie that's coming out it's some kind of a uh, you know maybe cartoon or anime movie end of the line not familiar with it personally uh, maybe you guys are or whatnot uh, i guess that's pretty cool so if you're a fan of this this is dope not really a fan of it but still pretty cool um next we have the pin the arena pin which is pretty cool i was worried this was going to fall out this pin looks pretty dope silver finish arena was the theme there you go uh it looks like it's got a nice arena here like as if it were uh you know maybe like a baseball uh you know stadium or something like that i know i'm a little far from the camera you probably can't see that if you want to look up some detailed pictures go on rethink.com and type in this one's great the arena crate and you'll see uh detailed pictures so not too bad here's the little book we'll go over stuff real quick real just real quick what do we got? We got the Overwatch pop that they go over here. Then we have the mouse pad. There's some uh, DOTA2. Uh, I don't know what that stands for. I'm not big into this. I've heard about this this game before or whatever. I know it's really cute. Is there a competition? It's all this one, whatever. But uh, so DOTA2 uh, Gaming Mat exclusive. That's pretty dope. So that's what that is. Um, next we have the, like I said, Team Fortress 2 hat. It was possible, I guess, to get a red or a blue. I got a blue. I've seen a blue one in the video, so I don't know if it's red or, you know, red is more uh, relevant or, or more rare or whatever, but uh, yeah, I got the blue one. So anyway, next we have the Street Fighter shirt, and then we have the end of the line thing. Uh, Team Fortress, oh, it's a Team Fortress 2 art print. It's from Team Fortress 2, the uh, end of the line thing. So that's pretty dope. So everything was included. There's the Arena Coin pin as well. And uh, that's pretty dope, man. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, sorry to be a little fumbly with the information. I'm not so familiar with everything. But, once again, hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, hit me up. And uh, 
that's really that. Have a nice day, folks. Peace.